So in this short video, what we're going to be doing today is talking about integrating some of our Amazon devices into our living room. And in particular, the ones that we're going to be using in this video are the Alexa Echo, the Alexa Studio, and the Fire TV Stick 4K Max with Wi-Fi 6, 4K in HDR. Flux Automate. So the output from the Fire Stick TV is HDMI. And from that, it sends a signal called ARC, which enables us to transmit the audio from the television and send it out to other devices. And the only other input on this is for the power, which is powered by micro USB. So all the devices come with their power leads. And with the Echo Studios, they come with cables. And for the Echoes, they come with power adapters. Now, just to look around the devices a little bit here, we have the Echo. At the top of the device, we have the mute button. You also have the volume buttons here. And this button here enables us to wake the device if we want to talk to it, rather than using the wake word. These beasts here are the studio devices. So these devices are upgrade to the Echo devices. The quality of sound from these are way higher. So as you can see in the top, we have the similar types of buttons. We have the wake button, we have the increased volume, decreased volume, and the ability to mute. And also on here is an up-facing speaker that pushes the 3D sound. Inside here, we have additional speakers. And at the bottom of the device, we have the woofer. So these holes enable the woofer to work, increasing the flow of air in and out of the device. So using these devices in your living area has many benefits. One of the benefits is enabling you to place the speakers in a room wherever you feel. They don't have to be right next to the TV because they're connecting via the Wi-Fi within the house and within your living area. This enables you to put your speakers anywhere in the room that creates the best acoustic sound. So these devices, the studios, when you set them up initially, they actually do a test and they send signals around the room to make sure that they can then produce the right types of sounds and create a 3D environment. The cheaper alternative here still will do a great job, but doesn't have the same abilities in terms of bass, in terms of clarity, and in terms of creating that Dolby Atmos sound, which incorporates 3D into your room. Now, when it comes to the price of these devices, now the Fire TV stick, price-wise, isn't very expensive. Quite easy to set up initially, but when you want to tweak it and get it set up with these other devices, it can take a little bit of time and you may need some additional support. The two Echo devices are quite good in terms of value for money. You don't have to keep both of them in the same room. You could bring them downstairs, use them for when you're watching a movie, and then after that, you can move them to different areas of the room. You just need to configure that within the app to make sure you know where your devices are and the sounds that you're sending to it coordinate with that particular area. Now, stepping up to the Echo Studios, now these do jump up in, in price, but are very well built, good quality, great sound. So at the bottom of the device, we have the ability to connect this to a speaker mount. You have the ring going around the side, which illuminates to let you know if Alexa is listening. And then the ports here, you have the power port and you have the audio jack. Looking at the Echo Studio, and we'll see at the bottom, we have the power. We also have the aux, which is to enable us to plug in any of the devices or any of the players. So now we're gonna go forward. We're gonna set this up in the environment and we're gonna take you through some of the steps and show you the benefits of having this set up in your living room. Alexa, play. Time to chill. Getting that from YouTube. Shit for 
tip off John Goble, Brian Forte, and Aaron Smith are our officials. Alexa, play music. Here's Spotify. Alexa, announce it's time to go. Announcing. Alexa, time to sleep. So convenience and time saving, I would say is the number one benefit of using these devices in your home. Being able to walk into your living room and turn on the TV with just your voice, jump straight into a TV show or even play music is what adds so much value. So here we are in the living space and we've just put together the first setup, which is the Echo Studios with the Fire TV. So over here to my left, we have the first Echo Studio and on the TV, we have the Fire TV stick plugged in and configured and ready to go. And right now we're just playing some video from YouTube. So you may be thinking to yourself, why don't we just install a normal soundbar in front of the TV and additional speakers that are hardwired into the television? Well, the benefits of using this particular system is that you can move those speakers anywhere else within the house. They don't have to be just stuck to this setup as a home cinema watching experience. Once you've finished, you can then move them to different areas of the home, as I've said, or you can take them outside on the patio. In designing the space, we decided to put these speakers on speaker stands, enabling us to raise the speakers to the right listening height and also provide the correct environment for the Dolby Atmos experience. Another additional benefit to this is, as you can see, the speaker is away from the television. You can see the cable going down, but we can move it to any part of the room without having to run any additional cables to the back of the television. If you have a really large room, you can move your speakers wherever you please. They don't necessarily have to be against a wall. They can be right next to you on the sofa. When you initially set up the environment with the Fire Stick TV and the speakers, it goes through a process and making sure it measures the right sound frequencies and reverberation from the effects of the audio. So that's the first setup. And as you can see, we have the Echo fourth generation devices at the size of the television, but we also can add those to the speaker stands as well. So when it all comes down to it, which is the better devices to have? Is it the studio or is the Echo fourth generation? In my opinion, I will go directly to the studios. For the sound that you're getting, the quality of the sound and for the price, I don't think there's anything on the market that's really touching this device at the minute. Being able to integrate that into your household and add so many extra functions and the usability, this is the device. But I don't want to knock this little guy here. Now for the price and the size, this device can do so many things plus the the quality of sound that comes from it is, I would say, probably about a seven, seven and a half maybe. For the money that you're paying for this, the fact that you can have multiples of these around your house and you can also stereo pair them, it's a great device. Whereas this, on the other hand, just brings so much more value for your money. The sound, you know, the frequencies, and also that bass that comes from this, you know, for, for a unit this size, there's nothing really out there in the market for this price, with this functionality that can do what this does. Now this device is two, two and a half years old, and this one only came out last year. But in my opinion, this, if it came out today, would still be top notch, and I would definitely buy two. So when it comes to sound, this is a great device. Now the frequencies and the bass that you're getting from something that's this small is quite incredible. And I give it all to Amazon for actually creating something like this at this price range. The ability to double them up or spread them all around your house or around your room and create multiple pairs. You know, there's nothing out there really that can touch this for this price range. Now this is something that you could gift somebody. It's not that expensive, give somebody for Christmas or their birthday, and they'll be loving it. Integrating them, getting them into the smart home, or as we say, connected home environment. Whereas this on the other hand, 
takes it to that next level. When you know someone's really into music or acoustics and really know about detailed sound and actually look out for them, this is the device to have. The top end frequencies, the mid range and the bass are all here. Now I would say the mid range is a little bit muddy at times, but for the price and the styling and the fact that you can move this wherever you want and just connect it to your environment and your home network, thumbs up all the way. I give this device a comfortable eight and a half to nine marks out of 10. This device here, I give it a six, six and a half. All in all, Amazon have created two great devices. And even though there's a age difference, this still competes with this and for the price, as you may see more on the market now, it might start to go down from what's, what it was originally priced at. This is a great deal. So an interesting fact about the studio is that you can connect it to your Google Hub. So you can still run your automation and speak directly to this device, which will then connect to your Google Hub. So both of these have Zigbee built in so you can connect all types of devices and keep them local, which is a real good thumbs up. So you can connect these to your home network, but also you can connect them directly by Bluetooth. So straight from your phone, you can connect directly to these speakers. The only downside, you can't connect them via Bluetooth in stereo pairs, but once you connect them to the Fire TV or the Fire TV stick, you can create group pairs of these devices. So you could have two of these, or you could have two of these. And on top of that, Amazon have a subwoofer. So if you connect these two to your Fire TV, you can also have the subwoofer to add additional bass. Even though these are quite bassy as it is, these have a decent amount of bass, but you could get that extra pump if you buy that additional device. So when it comes to loudness, now where this device, as you turn it up, it does start to distort just a little bit on the bass. But with this studio, you can put the bass all the way up in the app and you won't have any distortion and it's very, very loud. And for the compact size of this device, you'd be shocked at how loud it can actually get. Looks wise, both of these are great looking devices. The only downside is with this one, you can only get it in the gray. Whereas this one, you can get in multiple colors such as white. We have the charcoal here, and you can also get the aqua blue. Amazon have also created some limited edition different colors such as yellow, red, but you have to really look out for them when they're released because they go really quick. Now, as these devices are used for you to automate certain actions and routines within your household, it's great that this speaker right here has six microphones. So picking up from wherever you are in the room and you can even whisper and the device will still hear you. Whereas this device here only has one microphone and still does a great job, but I found this is way more superior in picking out your voice outside of the music. So if you enjoyed watching this video, click one of the extra links here and check out of the videos that we've created. See you next time. Flux automate.